everyone! Today I will be definitively ranking every event that took place in the game Jetpack Joyride from the game's launch to now, November 11th, 2022 as of recording. Really quickly, if you missed the other videos where I ranked all the vehicles and upgrades in the game, watch those now because they're cool. Anyway, on to the rules. What constitutes an event in a game is definitely up to interpretation, but for this video I'll include every limited time game update that includes a major shift in gameplay and events repeated multiple years in a row won't be included. They'll be judged on how much they change the gameplay, aesthetics, or both. Since I am not a dedicated enough Jetpack Joyride player to have played each and every event, I'll have a link in the end card to a playlist of all the videos I use for stock footage. Also, as you're probably all screaming about in the comments right now, I am not perfect by any means. If you know an event that I forgot about, please let me know about it in the comments. Anyway, let's get to the list. 15. Chinese New Year Event this one is not bad, just really inconsequential. There's a pretty good looking new background and a few vehicle and player skins, but that's about it. Not even any collectibles or new music. Overall, not a bad event, but there just wasn't a substantial amount of content included. 14. 10th Anniversary Event Yes, I know, the 10th Anniversary Event came at number 14. This one is a mixed bag for me. Sure, it's very fun to play, but the confetti constantly covering the entire screen can get annoying after a while. This event's collectible is slices of cake, which I do think merges with the overall theme of the event, and there are a couple cake-themed vehicle skins. It is a pretty sick event, but something has to go near the bottom. 13. Christmas Event this one is pretty good. We get a new jetpack, skin, and collectibles. The Christmas ornament. Snow falls here, but unlike the confetti from earlier, I don't think this gets in the way of things too much. Actually, that's really all I have to say, so going on. 12. Easter Event. Okay, this one is actually one of the few that I actually played, and it is a nice one. It has a seasonal jetpack and Easter Bunny costume, but it is pretty basic. To be honest, you could interchange this with the Christmas one depending on preference. 11. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Crossover Event And we have hit our first crossover! I do think that this one really translates TMNT into Jetpack Joyride pretty well, and I really like that the collectible is pizza. This is also the first one on the list to have custom music, and it sounds pretty slick. The only reason I don't have it higher is just because I don't personally like it too much, but obviously that's up to opinion. 10. Pirate Event This one is nice. The collectible is a pirate skull, a couple new skins, and custom music that just screams PIRATE! Like TMNT though, it just isn't really my kind of thing. Great job though. 9. St. Patrick's Day Event Honestly, the only reason this one is so high up is because of the jam and music and the Celtic Teleporter skin. Seriously, if I ranked every vehicle skin, the Celtic Teleporter would be up there. I also love the collectibles being little shamrocks. Phenomenal job, Ireland. 8. Star Trek Crossover Event This one is nice, mostly coming from all the sick jetpacks they released, and the epic Sam skin. The music is nice too. I really do not have a lot to say about this one, so... <laughs> 7. Halloween Event Honestly, like the St. Paddy's Day event from before, this one is up there for the Bone Dragon theme alone. I jammed out to that much so much in class, you wouldn't believe. Also, the vehicle skins look slick. 6. Metal Slug Crossover Event Wow, this one. I honestly wasn't really even into Metal Slug until I played this event. The little Stomper vehicle skin looks so sick. It's probably the absolute best non-Sam skin from any event ever. That combined with some pretty sick jetpacks and giving out the Wave Rider for free in this event earns it the number 6 spot. 5. Bling It On and Bling It On Christmas This one is so good that they bring it back year after year. 
Everything's decked out in gold, tons of coins, gems and diamonds are added, 5 coins and 10 coins worth respectively, gold pigs fly everywhere, and both of the DLC vehicles are available for free with gold skins. Also, the 8-bit rendition of the music is so nice and just screams money! Absolute perfection here. We'll also quickly mention the Christmas variation, which is the same except for a few holiday touches. Basically the same. 4. Ghostbusters Crossover Event You might be wondering how this one got so high, and it's simple. The Ecto-1. Well, probably maybe being a reskin of the DeLorean from the Back to the Future event, for those who didn't buy it during the event, the Ecto-1 works fine as a substitute. The Ecto-1 changes the game so much that in my video ranking all the vehicles, I said it was the best vehicle besides Sam, a high honor for such a new vehicle. And because this event is where it originates, it has to get a high ranking. 3. Fruit Ninja Cut and Run This event is so high up there because it finally actually changes something when it comes to gameplay. This event works on a timer where you have to slice fruit, basically coins, to gain points and lose that fruit when hitting a laser. As somebody who actively plays Fruit Ninja, I think that this event perfectly translates Fruit Ninja into this game and definitely deserves the number 3 spot. 2. Zappy Bird This event basically turns Jetpack Joyride into Flappy Bird, and it isn't even all that complex. Just a couple of lasers and uh, being forced onto the profit bird, all while the robot bird rock opera blasts in the background. I personally never played this event, but I wish I did. It sounds incredible. 1. Back to the Future Crossover Were you surprised? I love this event so much because it just works. A time limited challenge where you can collect flux tokens for extra time and have to collect the most coins possible. This event also brought us the Hoverboard, a skin for the baddest hog, but more importantly, the DeLorean! I honestly forgot this event existed until looking it up for this video, and watching it brought back some major nostalgia from playing it a few years back. Honestly, Back to the Future, great job. And that'll wrap up the rankings! Comment if I missed anything and what you think the best event is. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and my new second channel, Troy's Movies the Second. And I'll see you all later. Bye!